Okay, can someone answer this? Why does programming have so many negative stereotypes? You see doctors on TV, they look handsome and cool. Lawyers, even more handsome, even cooler. If you're a banker, especially if you steal money from people, don't even get me started. Because what you get is a feature film about your life with Leonardo DiCaprio playing you. I think we chose the wrong career path here. But then way over here, you've got us, the programmers. You look like these guys from Silicon Valley at best, maybe even Big Bang Theory. And at worst, we're fedora wearing neck beards. And yeah, I just didn't have time to shave. So the real question is, are these stereotypes fair? And do we actually deserve it? Well, we'll dissect around five different stereotypes one by one, might be more, might be less. Before we get started, let me introduce myself. I'm Aaron Jack, and I'm uniquely qualified to talk about this because I myself am a software developer who used to work in San Francisco. Now I'm a freelance developer, founder of the Freemo Bootcamp and so forth. Okay, let's start with the first stereotype, which is actually a positive one. Programmers are really smart and might even be Geniuses. Well, it might be obvious, but the answer is gonna be false. Now, when you're learning to code, it certainly feels that way. It feels like it's the hardest thing in the world. In these stages, being smarter does help you pick things up faster. In fact, that's kind of the definition of being smart, right? Is learning fast. So you might be able to learn it in weeks or months and not years, but once you understand the rules and the principles of software development, it's really not as hard as you think. In more abstract and fast changing fields like uh, marketing, for example, the variables are constantly shifting and changing. What worked yesterday might not work today. And you kind of have to always be one step ahead and on top of your game. Now, okay, learning might be cumbersome at first and feel a bit unnatural and maybe less intuitive than other things you learn. So, okay, it's a bit hard to pick things up as you go, but like any other skilled profession, you really just have to put in the time and you're gonna get it. And most people don't believe it until they just do it, which should be encouraging for you actually if you're learning. Okay, now for the next stereotype and let's ease into the worst ones is gonna be that developers all have computer science degrees and technical backgrounds. And the answer for this one is false. In fact, the stats from Stack Overflow show that only 33% of developers have, and that is developers with jobs, have computer science degrees. And I imagine this ratio is gonna get higher every year as college keeps getting more expensive, more and more people realize they don't need a degree, and as things like coding boot camps and online learning get more popular. I'm personally glad I do not have a CS degree, and it's for one simple reason, because everything I learned in a classroom kind of killed my interest or passion in it. And yeah, having to learn something in a very specific rigid way, I think is uh, probably the best way to do that. On the other hand, if you learn this stuff in more of an organic, follow your interest, hacker-like way, then it feels pretty damn fun and uh, rewarding. Okay, let's get a little bit more edgy, offensive, and interesting. The next stereotype is whenever you walk by a developer's desk, they're not actually working. In fact, just look at those tech company offices. There are ping pong tables, there's snacks everywhere. People are bringing their pets to work. Like, no one's actually working in there. They just got all this VC money and they're messing around, right? It's a big joke. And yeah, that could be the case in some companies for sure, but this one I'm gonna say is mostly false. Now, it is true that when you walk by a programmer's desk, it often looks like they're not actually coding, they're just reading articles, reading through uh, documentation, or just staring into space, looking at the screen. And yeah, programming does look different than most people expect. And it's kind of funny because I think the best developers actually type the least because they can kind of spend 59 minutes measuring and one minute cutting. That is to say they do the upfront planning work and research to get things right the first time. Now, meanwhile, you have me when I first started out. I was always pounding on my keyboard and staying late at the office. And it's not because I was working hard, it's because I was trying everything just to get a single right solution. <laughs> this is also called brute forcing it, okay? Now sure, I looked productive and people were impressed, but the opposite was actually true. I hadn't developed that programmer intuition yet, so I had to measure, write, test, rewrite over and over again until I got things right. Meanwhile, the guy next to me seemed like a genius, at least in my eyes, because he would type the code and it would always just work. But as I would find out later, that just takes time. Okay, next stereotype is developers are arrogant and disagreeable. And I'm actually gonna say this one's usually true, but hear me out, okay? Now tech companies kind of have this flat, casual hierarchy, and I don't necessarily think that's just to make a better workplace. And what I mean by that is there isn't really this respect, seniority, and hierarchy kind of culture at tech companies. I think the real reason for this is because developers are kind of the engine of the entire company. They keep things running and it can't really exist without them. In a lot of different ways, all the other roles, whether that's like product managers, engineering managers, designers, even like the CTO, they're all there just to kind of support the developers, make them super productive and uh, make decisions that would make their life easier. I'll give you an example. One project I was working on at Uber had a finance team running it and my manager was always asking for updates. My product manager was always asking for updates. You had the designer over here 
the uh, other developers on the project over here, you know, all these different meetings. And it kind of felt like I was like the only one doing work. I'm not even trying to throw shade. It's just actually how it was. So we had all these people supporting me, right? But at the end of the day, I was the one actually creating the app. Now, my point is it's easy to get an ego when there are these dynamics at play, okay? Where everyone's kind of depending on you. So I think that's kind of where the developer ego comes from. Now, this would be all well and good if it was like a club that you got in, like when you knew how to code, everyone was cool with you, but it's also the same within the developer world. Like there's kind of a, a hierarchy or a pecking order or people act like there is, it's, it's kind of dumb actually. Instead of having a fraternity after you can reverse a linked list, everyone welcomes you in and gives you a hug. Backend developers instead tend to look down on front end who in turn look down on non-programming IT people who, you know, look down on everyone else. Now I also said developers can be disagreeable and that was also true. And I think in this way, they're a bit misunderstood because the world of code is kind of binary. Like there are objectively better or worse solutions for everything. And it's really hard to separate that from your real life or you can also draw these same kind of logical conclusions with reasoning. And this doesn't always translate so well to uh, being polite and let's just say not hurting people's feelings. Okay, and the last infamous stereotype is their awkward social outcast type people. Is that true or not? You know, actually I'm gonna say mostly false and I know you're gonna disagree, so let me explain. So first, are they more introverted on average? I mean, sure. But the question I would ask you is, do more extroverted people gravitate towards sales or does sales itself make you more extroverted? And the same is true with coding. If you wanna avoid people, do you become a coder or does a coder give you less affinity towards people and more affinity towards machines, which are you know the only things that are really honest all the time. And everyone who's done a hardcore day of programming knows this when you get so deep into the debugger that you forget what you had for lunch and how to respond to basic greetings. Aaron, Aaron. Living in the world of logic does do something to your brain. Small talk starts to become less appealing. Your patience definitely goes down a bit. And as for whether programming attracts naturally introverted people, well, you could just say that, you know, people who hung out with friends less when they were younger spend more time in front of a screen. So that's where they're more comfortable. Sure, you can make an argument for that. But I think just as many people, especially these days, saw it as a viable career path and went for it by choice rather than by necessity. In other words, it wasn't an accident they ended up there. And I'm sorry to break it to you, but if you wanna become a programmer so you never have to talk to people again, well, unfortunately that's just not true and it's not gonna happen. You still have to communicate to a basic level of the people on your team because they're gonna be counting on you. Not only that, but it takes quite a skilled communicator to explain things to non-technical people, whether it's managing their expectations, explaining a system's limitations, or that updating that column in the 1 million row database is not quite as simple as it sounds. And no, they'll never know the pain of executing that migration script and losing sleep over it. Beyond that, in a company to go beyond level three, that is called a senior software engineer in most companies, you have to start taking on more of a mentorship role. And the higher you go, there's actually less and less coding. So unless you just wanna code an operating system all day in your basement, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to talk to people. And it's just as important whether you're freelancing, prototyping an app, or doing pretty much anything when the software involves people, which is to say pretty much all the time. All right, now I know there's way more stereotypes, so please let me know the ones you think of and whether you agree or disagree with them. So let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next video.